So in this problem, we have a function from z cross z cross z into z. As defined as follows, we have f of abc is equal to a plus b plus c. And the question is to prove that f is onto. So this also means um, surjective, same thing. So before we do the proof, uh, we definitely should recall what it even means for a function to be onto. It's all about that. That's what this proof is all about. So we'll say a function f from a into b is onto or surjective if for all little b in capital B, which is the codomain. So this is our this is our capital B in this problem here. Okay, uh, there exists there exists an element little a in capital A. So this here is is our capital A in this problem here, such that f of a uh, is equal to b. Okay, that's what it means for a function to be onto or or surjective or a surjection. So we just need to satisfy this definition in order to prove um, that this function is onto. So we need to figure out the proof before we do. We can't just like write the proof. Um, so we have to actually think about how we're going to do it. So in our proof, we're, we're going to start by supposing that we have like a little b in capital B, and then we just have to find this a so that this is true. So we basically need to solve this equation. Now, I don't want to use a and I don't want to use b because um, we already have a, b, and c in this problem. So let's make up new letters. Um, let's do like, let's do e. Let's do there exists, um, how about a d? There exists a d in a such that, let's rename stuff, f of d equals, and then I need a new letter here, so let's call it e. So I'm going to change this to, just changing it all up so that um, we can make it more manageable. So I've, I've rephrased the definition of onto using new variables. Okay, it's even more confusing now. Um, but let's do it that way because that way I can explain it using this and you won't get confused uh, with all of these letters because you already have A and B here and there's nothing we can do to change that uh, because that's how the problem is given. So it makes it a little bit harder to do actually. Okay, so we'll start with this. We have to solve this equation. So we have to solve f of d equals e. Well, what's D? D is just going to be some element, ABC. So we need F of ABC to be equal to E. That's what we need, right? So given, given an E, we need to solve this equation here, right? Because this, this is our D here, this whole thing. Well, what is F of ABC? That's A plus B plus C equals E. So we need to find A, B, and C such that if we add them up, we get E. While a, b, and c must be integers, and 0 is a wonderful integer, so what we can do is we can take a equal to 0, b equal to 0, and c equal to e, and then we certainly have 0 plus 0 plus 0 equals, oh, plus, sorry, plus e equals e, right? So a plus b plus c equals e, that's an e. So we can take these three and create the following ordered pair, and this will work, right? This will be an element in z cross z cross z, such that if you plug it into this function, you're just going to get e. Let's go ahead and write the proof. So proof. It will be a little more clear maybe uh, when we actually go through, you know, the writing of the proof. So we'll start by saying um, take an element, and I'm going to use e again uh, in capital B. So take take any take any e in capital B. What's capital B? That's that's z. That's that's this set here. It's our codomain. Then we need to show the existence of an element in, in this product, z cross z cross z. Well, the element 0, 0, e is certainly in this Cartesian product, z cross z cross z. Right? It's certainly because uh, each of the components are integers. In particular, e is an integer, and so is 0. And now we just need to look at f of this element. So f of 0, 0, e. Well, if you recall, f just adds up the elements, right? It's a plus b plus c. So this will just be 0 plus 0 plus e. Well, that's just equal to e. Right? So we, we've done it, right? We've done it. We've took, we took an element in b. We showed the existence of an element in a such that f of that element is equal to e. And that satisfies the definition of onto, right? This is this is our D 
in our revised definition. You see, this is the existence part that we've shown. So that completes the proof. That's it. We've shown the function is onto. A little bit harder to understand this proof because we had to change the variables, right? The problem had A, B, and C in the original question, and the definition had A, B, and C. So it's like, ah, oh, how did we do this? So I hope this video has been helpful.